And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Lusotitan, which was a request by Portuguese Eagle via YouTube, so thanks. Lusotitan was a sauropod that lived in the late Jurassic in what is now Portugal, and the name means Lusitania Titan. The name Luso refers to an inhabitant of Lusitania, quote, an ancient region that partly corresponds to Portugal, end quote. The type species is Lusotitan ataliensis, and the species name refers to the site where it was found, Atalie. Lusotitan was found in the Lorinha Formation in 1947. Manuel de Matos, who was part of the Geological Survey of Portugal, found large sauropod fossils there. And then in 1957, Albert Felix de la Parent and George Zyshevsky named those fossils Brachiosaurus italiensis. So it's a synonym to Brachiosaurus italiensis. Lusotitan is considered to be a brachiosaurid because of its low neural spines and elongated humerus and long forelimbs and other features, though the skull is not known, but the skull probably is similar to other brachiosaurid skulls. In 2003, Octavio Mateus and Miguel Teles Antunes renamed it as a separate genus, Lusotitan. De La Parent did not assign a holotype, so in 2003, Mateus chose the skeleton as the lectotype, and they chose the most complete individual to be the lectotype. Mannion and others re-described the Lusotitan lectotype in 2013. Fossils found include a partial skeleton, no skull, and individual vertebrae found in a few locations. The Lorinha Formation was a coastal region with similar plants and animals as the Morrison Formation in the U.S. and the Tendaguru Formation in Tanzania. Lusotitan is the largest known dinosaur from its habitat. It was about 82 feet or 25 meters long. Other dinosaurs that lived in the area include theropods Allosaurus, Ceratosaurus, Lorinhanosaurus, Torvosaurus, the Ankylosaur, Dracopelta, Diplodocid sauropods, Supersaurus, Lorinhanosaurus, ZB, and Stegosaurus, Centrosaurus, and Miragaya.